Hey guys, we're going to do a video update and I want y'all to take a look at this kind of neat looking old trailer. You've probably seen this in some of my other videos. Um, what we're dealing with here is that when I built this trailer, I used what I had, which is a pair of slipper springs that were with it on both sides. Now, you can look by the wear on the tires. This thing has got uh, almost 1,400 miles on it, close, real close to it and rusted, beat up. There's all its wood over there. What we had on this for the longest time was just the wood with just a couple of screws holding her down. But underneath, I actually took and put a uh, set of cleats front and back. So wood wasn't gonna go nowhere. But here is what I got. And this is video one of two. Daniel's about to pull wheels off of this thing. So this is video one of two. And these kits, um, this comes with a 2,000 pounder. This is a 2,000 pound per axle spring set. And I'm gonna put a link down below the video so you guys who wanna just go build this. Let me explain something here. You can buy this little 1,700 pound axle and um, it's a, a, actually it's an 1,800. So this would be a 3,600 capacity, but you gotta shave 300 pounds um, off of this, 7%, because you're doing it, it, it's math, but standard math. So what we've got here, let me get more detail. An 1,800-pound axle, you can order these axles with 5-bolt hub, no electric brakes, but when you've got something that's basically 50 inches wide and a little over 10 feet long, this whole thing, this whole thing, I picked up this whole trailer off the ground, and Daniel and Kira put the saw horses under it. So I mean, even had some extra weight on there. Tires and all on it, did it. So um, it's dry weight is around 450 pounds um, complete. When we put the wood on there, it hits about 550. So there's another 100 pounds, 120 pounds of wood. So anything in the 550, 580 range, that's what it's dry weight is. Now, this is the original Harbor Freight single axle trailer that was put together and people freaked out going, it'll never make it, it'll never make it. And it was fully braced and not only welded, but fully braced. And I drilled a hole through right there for wiring to go to the, the fenders that I never did. We are going to be putting an angle out here and to support these. I never even drilled, look at this rust. I never even drilled that. I've been using this trailer to haul cords of wood on. Just does fine. We cut up a whole lot of elm trees uh, off our property, get them, get them out of there. But there it is, off the ground, and not an easy lift, but not impossible. Uh, when you got two kids that can throw the saw horses under when you grab the other end, it works great. But the spring set is the most unique thing. Now, you may get, and the link I'm gonna send you to, they're going to send you this. They're gonna send you this, but don't worry. And you can't do it any other way. But don't worry, they do make a five and a half. So that one there is the almost seven three quarters, and this is a five and a half. You need the five and a half to do this so that your axle spacing remains like it is now. Actually, these will come together just a tiny bit, about a half inch, that's it. But there is the setup. There's your equalizer right there. Of course, all your bolts, these come with bushings already in them. The whole spring set does. Everything comes with all this. This is a equalizer for a uh, up to 5,200 pound, one and three quarter spring, and it works great. So I'm gonna have a capacity of about 3,300 pounds. And with this two by two angle on here and welded, and the frame boxed where it might have had a weak point. And if you'll see this, this was continued the whole length under there. So there is no, it's going to break in half. Well, look, man, I've had a cord and a half of wood on this thing 15 times. Ain't broke yet. Uh, I'm not running up and down the interstate except once. I did take it down to Baker, Nevada <laughs> one good time. There is the Harbor Freight double axle. It's, I believe, what was it, Daniel? 10 foot two? Yeah. 10 foot two long and 50 inches wide 
in here. So you'll see it's a 48 frame with one inch extended. So the frame was still 48 inches. We went through here to beep it all up and, and uh, that's all, don't laugh, that's my, and he was what, 10 years old when you welded this? 10 years old? So this is my 10 year old's welding job up here and he's in here grinding it down. This is his trailer. I don't own this trailer, my now 12 year old does. So uh, he owns this one. And we are now putting that set of real genuine equalizer springs on it um, to beef it up a little better because everybody tells me the Harbor Freight springs will break right there at the slipper joint. They will break. And I'm sure people who's had these, they probably know that. Um, what happens is they actually, going down the road for a long time, they'll get hot from that friction and they'll lose their tinsel and they'll break. So very dangerous. But we've ran it this way for, I guess, a year and a lot of wood on it, lots. So that's what we have. And of course, you've seen me put, I don't know if people saw in the other videos, me put this piece of inch and a half box. This is a 3 16 wall inch and a half box. It goes all the way up in the frame, all the way up into the receiver up in here, uh, plus the wasp nest. And back here, and then a load spreader for a toolbox that fits up here. We use to put our chainsaw inside of this. And this is ready. Guys, I'm just, just an update. It's just an update. And like I said, look below. You'll see a link to those spring sets. And these do fit very well on the axles. And you can order these axles. See that? You can, it sticks a little bit there. But you can order these axles. There you go, guys. Not a bad setup. His trailer. Cherry Moan, guys. That'll be good.